everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne. I'm a certified RV inspector. And today we're going to be talking about how much an RV inspector doing an RV inspection for you should cost. You know, RV buying reached a fever pitch during the COVID pandemic. No question about that. More RVs were sold then than almost any other time in history. But lots of the new RVs that were sold during that time had serious issues in them. In fact, I made a video just a little while back that tried to explain the factors that went into that situation, why it happened from an industry perspective. And if you get a chance to go through it, I'm sure it would be helpful. But here we are after the pandemic with all those issues that have taken place in the RV industry and many RV buyers still don't want to use RV inspectors. Instead, they seem to be more than willing to take the risk of the condition of an RV fully on themselves as they go through the buying process. And then unfortunately, when they have problems, issues with the RV that they've bought, then they go online and they complain. And they complain loud and long. And the target of their anger in many cases is RV manufacturers. And to be sure, RV manufacturers deserve a lot of the anger and resentment that they are getting. But here's the truth. The truth is that RV inspectors can prevent a lot of that. They can save you money, frustration, and time that would otherwise be spent while your RV is in the shop being repaired after you buy it instead of being with you and being used for having fun RV adventures. But if RV inspections were free, well, of course, everybody would do it, right? But when you hire an RV inspector, what you're doing is you're paying a trained professional to test every system in that RV from the top all the way to the bottom. Well, how much is that worth? Let's talk about that. These days I see that there are lots of RV inspectors, independent RV inspectors that only charge about two to $300 for their inspection. Is that a proper inspection? Well, let's compare RV inspectors to another group of trained professionals in the RV business, and that is mobile RV techs. How much do they usually charge to come to you like an RV inspector would and then diagnose your problem and repair it? Well, generally speaking, my experience is they're going to charge about $100 to $150 an hour for their labor. And at that rate, if an RV inspector was to charge you $300 for the entire inspection, well, that means they have only been able to spend about two to two and a half hours on the entire inspection if they're going to make a profit like a mobile RV tech does. And that includes their travel time and their getting their report together and getting it to you. Now, here's my experience in the situation. Even the simplest of RVs will take much longer to thoroughly inspect than just two to two and a half hours. In fact, if we take a look at travel trailers, they probably are the simplest type of RV to uh, actually go through and inspect. But even a travel trailer is going to take a good inspector five to six hours at least to go through and inspect from top to bottom. But that's just one end of the spectrum. All the way to the other end, you have large diesel pusher RVs 
the ones that have these big systems in them and lots of amenities and luxuries that have to be tested. Well, they can take 10 to 12 hours or even more to go through thoroughly and inspect them like they should be. And that doesn't, again, include travel time for the inspector back and forth or research that's done. A lot of us research the RVs before we actually go out and inspect them. It also doesn't count the report that you put together and check for accuracy, and it doesn't count the time spent with the customer to answer all of their questions about the report. So here's my question. How can someone afford to charge two to $300 for a full RV inspection and make any kind of profit on it if they're doing it thoroughly? Well, the truth is this, when someone charges you that little, it often means that the inspection is very limited. It cannot be as thorough as a certified NRBIA inspector would perform. The next question is, is that what you as an RV buyer really want? Is it more important to you to pay as little as you possibly can at this critical step in the buying process of an RV? Well, you know, it always surprises me that some people will buy homes for $150,000 to $300,000 or more, and they would never even consider doing so without having a home inspector go through and make sure the condition of the home. And yet they will go and buy an RV for the same amount of money and not even consider an RV inspector. But my friends, here's the truth. RVs cost too much to be able to buy them with such limited information about their true condition, especially since RVs are actually, in many cases, way more complex than just a home that sits in one place. All right, let's get to the big question. What does a full, thorough inspection from a certified NRVIA inspector cost then? The answer is it varies greatly. The reason for that is the NRVIA trains and certifies inspectors, but they don't employ them. We are self-employed businesses, and that means that we're free to set our own prices. Therefore, you're obviously going to find a range from what one person will charge to what another person will charge. But let me give you some general guidelines to go by. Remember we talked about travel trailers being the simplest RV to inspect. Well, if they take about five to six hours, honestly, you can find certified RV inspectors that will charge about $500 for that kind of RV. But let's go to the other end. When you're talking about those big diesel pushers with all those magnificent systems and luxuries and amenities, well, they can take 10 to 12 or even more hours, and you're going to find certified RV inspectors that charge $1,200 or more for inspecting them. Now, is that worth it? Is it worth it to you? If you value the time, the experience, and the training of a trained professional who's doing a thorough job, then that really is worth that amount of time. But it really is up to you to decide. I can say this, though, with confidence. All those folks that are complaining online over what they bought in the last three, four years or so, if they had gotten a full, thorough RV inspection from a certified RV inspector, they would not be complaining anywhere near as loudly and long. You would find much less complaints about RVs and RV manufacturers then. And that's because 
they would have known the true condition of the RV they were buying before they actually completed the sale and they would have been able to negotiate the repairs before the sale was completed. It would have avoided so much frustration and time and anger by just putting the RV inspector, who is a trained professional, into the buying process. Well, now let's uh, take on the last question that we want to cover. Which certified inspector should you choose? My recommendation, just simply visit nrvia.org and on the homepage, you're gonna see a button for find an RV inspector. Hit that on the next page, you'll see a map that contains the locations of all the certified NRVIA inspectors across the country. Zoom in to the area where your RV that you're considering is located. Look for the inspectors in that area and it will give you their contact information. And then you can contact them and see about their availability and talk to them about your needs. Who should you choose? My recommendation, just choose the one you are most comfortable with. The honest truth is this, all NRVIA certified inspectors have been trained to provide a good quality inspection for you. All right, so what kind of RV inspection then do you want? Do you want a thorough one or do you want a cursory one? Well, it's up to you to decide. And that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.